I know, right? Thank you for that. I don't know if it's a wonderful question. It's a major, major question. Um, what do I? Ay, sorry, ah, ma'am, say, ma say daw to ma'am. Ay, ano ito na ito? Sorry po. Uh, what do I love about my life right now? Alam niyo ho, hindi ko alam kung umabot na kayo sa punto na ganito. Pero yung hindi ka nag-aalala sa kung uh, anong, anong kakainin bukas. Kasi alam mo na ang tatay mo ang may-ari ng lahat. At ang tatay mo will provide for all your needs days. Yes, Amen. Ayan, yung para sa'yo. May pala ni Ardy. Boom! Sige, ulitin natin. Ayan. Okay na, okay na. Nang vibrato. Joke lang, hindi ko alam yan. So, yun ho. Yun yung pakiramdam na at peace ako. At peace ako dahil alam ko na ang buhay ko ngayon ay hawak na ng tatay ko. So, of course, there are times, there are moments na parang lumaki ko kasi ako na ang ang briefing ay pag alam mo na ma, pag maliit na problema wag mo nang idulog sa Panginoon gawan mo na ng paraan kasi istorbuhin mo pa si God ang dami niyang ginagawa <laughs> so so parang lumaki ko ako na ganoon na pag may maliit na problema gawan mo na ng paraan tapos yung malalaking problema yun lang ang itatakbo mo sa Panginoon pero hindi pala hindi pala ganoon yun tatay ko kayo alam niyo yung pakiramdam na yung anak ay lalapit sa iyo kay maliit o malaki and the joy of you know being that father na yung anak mo ay dependent sa iyo masarap so yun ho yun ma'am yung that that's what i really love about my life right now na meron kang tatay na lagi mong malalapitan mm. at maliit man o malaki ang, ang hiling mo mm. alam mo sasagutin niya yeah, praise god ganun po talaga tayo kamahal ng panginoon na because God is a God of the small things and also the big things. And ano yung verse about, may favorite verse ka, di ba? That if a child, if you're, if a son asks for bread. The Lord will give you, if you ask your Heavenly Father for bread, He won't give you a stone, di ba? Kung humihika ng isda, ito ang bibigyan ng ahas, di ba? Because tayo ka mga, Uh, earthly fathers know how to give our children good things. Ano pa kaya ang Heavenly Father natin? Amen. Ano ang follow-up question? Oo, may follow-up reaction ako. Ang guwapo ng boses mo. Of course! I love it! Learning! Wait lang, hello? I asked this yesterday when we were together, and I was wondering, since you did not even meet your your biological father, is there is there still a desire to look for him? Did you speak to him? Did you know his full name? Vincent. You know, like this. When I was young, my father's name was Vincent Raj. Pero nung nakita ko yung birth certificate ko, Vincent Raj Aratnam. So hindi ko na nga alam ano ba talaga dapat apelido ko. Aratnam. Mas madaling i-spell yung Raj. Raj na lang. Raj na lang. Nung minsan din may tanong na beauty queen. Naalala ko, merong ano, isang pageant. Nagtanong, sino ang favorite beauty queen mo? Miriam Kiambao. Sige nga, spell mo ang Kiambao. Uh, sige, Sam si Supsup na lang po. <laughs> Ang Pero ang rush, madali lang. Tatlong letra lang, diba? So, so meron bang ano, desire to look for your, your biological father? And... There was a point. There was a point na I really, I was really longing um, to find him, to look for him. I remember there was a time nung usong ko sa bang friendster. Nag-friendster ako ng mga... Sorry, guys. So, may friendster. Hinahanap ko pa siya doon. Hanggang sa naging Facebook, hinahanap ko rin siya doon. Hanggang sa may mga friends na akong misyonaryo, nung naging Christian na ako, yung mga friends kong misyonaryo, alam nila yung uh, sinasabi ko sa yung address, ganyan. Then they would send ano, friends. And then may dalawang tao silang nakita na ganun yung full name. So, parang um, may, pwede naman kung talagang gugustuhin. But I think um, more than 
I, I don't want to be consumed by the thought that I really have to look for my biological father. I would rather run to my heavenly father and say, Lord, you know my longings, you know my desires. And if I will have my own family in the future, I pray that the, f the future father of my children will be present and that he would be that kind of father that the Lord wants him to be. Wow. Praise God. Who? Who's the one who's the one who's the one who's the one who's Well, yeah, that's amazing. Oh. That's an amazing. Because there, are, I know people who are like grew up, na hindi na kilala yung nanay or tatay, na may logic pero tapos it's like a wound or a hole. Yeah. But yung parang amazing, no? When when God is your father, yeah. it feels like that. That's true. Although there was this, there's this one thing that I I still think, and sometimes I struggle with. And maybe you can help me process it. Mama, ya chat. Um I was like, Lord, paano yon? Pag kinasal ako, who will who will bring me to the altar? And sometimes naiiyak pa rin ako pag iniisip ko yon. And and I always love that father daughter dance. That's my favorite. But then I'm like, Oh, oh, oh. Sabi ko sa process natin ng mga mayan. <laughs> Pwede naman kaming dalawa. <laughs> Kasi si Kuya Danny or Kiko, oh, di ba? Si But yeah, that's always a question. Parang, Lord, it would be so nice, you know, that um, my biological father would bring me to the altar. But I guess, again, I would go back to to the thought na, Venus, I have provided a lot of father figures in your life. Not only one, but a lot of them. Even Kuya Weng, I consider him one of, you know, that father figure that the Lord has allowed me to have. And so, ang dami, hindi lang isa. That's the blessing. Mamimili ako ngayon, mahirapan ako. But one thing's for sure, my Heavenly Father will walk with me and the altar. Amen. And thanks for sharing how to become a child of God, you know? Before I thought that, that we're all children of God, but we are children of God, we become a child of God because it's a right given yeah. to us through Christ Jesus. Pala, right? That's true. Akala ko rin dati ganyan, na parang lahat naman tayo, anak ng Diyos, hindi pala totoo yun. Oh. That yes, all of us are God's creation, but not and he loves, all of us. And He loves us he, as he His loves creation. His but not all of us are children of God. The, the Bible says we become children of God when we have, because of His Son, Jesus Christ. Kasi tama nga naman, no? Parang kung ayaw mong maging anak ka nung tatay mo, tapos sinabi niya na hindi anak kita, ayoko nga. Ba't, ba't, mo, ba't, mo, ako gusto, ba't, ba't mo ako sinasabi ng anak mo? Ayoko. Alam mo yun? So only those who are willing to be adopted in His family will be part of His family. And I like that you brought up the idea of adoption because even in the loss of uh, the land, diba? even in legal terms, when a person is adopted into a new family, nagiging heir siya, may yes. inheritance, may mana. So, kung you baga, know that when it is old. Oh, mm. Kung itinatrato kang parte talaga ng pamilya, yung apelido ng tatay magiging sa'yo kung adopted ka. At meron kang mana. Alam mo yun po ang kagandahan din na kung anak tayo ng Panginoong Ama, di ba? Na may mana tayo. At sabi sa Bible, di ba? God owns everything. So, may mana tayo sa Boracay. <laughs> <laughs> sa lupa ng Boracay. Wala lang tayo tayo. Wala lang tayo tayo. May blessings ang Panginoon. So, uh, okay, those of na. you who have questions, mm -hmm. uh, we want to acknowledge the presence of our Godfather. Godfather, Pastor Bernard BBG. Yeah, all the way from New Zealand. Christ Church, New Zealand. Yeah. Wow. Pastor Hi, Nino. Ninong. Hi, Ninong. Okay, so now I'll be going around. If you have a question, na hindi talaga kayo makakatulog, pag hindi nyo na italo ang question, itaas nyo na ang kamay at lalapitan ko kayo. Ayan. Yeah. Sino? Sino? Si Ayan, go, Malu. Okay. Oh, please state your name, yes, your Gcash number, and... Yeah. <laughs> 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 Can you help me now? 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 Can you help me now?
<laughs> Sabi mo marikas na lang mga tao. <laughs> Malu, ya. Um, Malu, ini Malu. 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 Um, mahirap yun eh, pag um, quote-unquote unshowbiz, non-showbiz yung, ano mo, yung, uh, yung, the one, the person that you are in a relationship. And I've been learning a lot from Sir RD and he's been sharing a lot of things. And he even talked to my boyfriend and shared some of the things uh, na parang natutunan niya in the journey uh, while being with, uh, nung kahit bo- girlfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend pa lang sila ni Ma Miriam and kahit nung naging husband and wife na sila, But um, uh, we were friends even even uh, before, and then it was um, it was last year when he uh, when he stated his intention um, for us to for him to pursue me. So he he talked to my mom, uh, asked for permission, and uh, to my disciples, my my leader leaders, um, and I guess. Uh, again, again, this is not a this is not the rule that I want people to also do, but this is uh, how we want our relationship to flourish by honoring the people around us. So, isa ko yon sa mga bagay na pwede kami share, and I am really glad to share that to all of you. Thank you, Mama. Malu, puta ka na sa ano sa room charot. Puta ka nung sa CCF man yun dahil sa yung pahuling hands ka. Yon. Yun, Ma'am Malo. Pagpunta mo doon, tas sa ano. So, you have to go to church. Ah. <laughs> o pala. <laughs> ano yung, yung pick-up line na sa'yo? Ay, ayaw mo kong sabihin. <laughs> Pag sinabi ko ba, yung mga... Oh, wow. <laughs> Joke lang. Oh, wow. oh, next question. Sa bandang likuran, baka merong gusto magtanong. Yeah. Ayan, mga hindi makakatulog. Sa mga single dyan, ano po ba ang mga dapat na hinahanap? Ayun. Dito sa harapan. Ayun ako may nag uh, tuturoan dito. Ayun na. Uh, uh, go. Pangalan, please. Ange? Nash. 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 Apologetics. Yes. Yeah. I maybe what's your name learning about from that Nash. 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 Nashville. Nash. 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 The art of saying sorry. <laughs> I apologize. No, kidding. Um, Oxford. Oxford. Huwag niyo, hindi ko yun. Yun lang yun sa CP. But um, basically, it's about defending the faith. So I guess many of us, parang, yes, we're living out our faith. We we claim that we are Christians. Pero there are times na parang when we are challenged, Uh, when we are questioned about our faith, sometimes hindi natin, um, parang hindi natin alam kung paano natin ina-navigate yung conversations about that. So, we learn a lot of things um, about uh, different worldviews, um, atheism, pantheism, all the isms. And then, um, we were also taught na parang, okay, this is the, this is the um, belief system of other people. Um, mas maganda na naiintindihan natin yung pananampalataya rin nila o kawalan ng pananampalataya or paniniwala nila. Because uh, I think in the Philippines, we are in a way, um, 96% ba tayo? 96% uh, Christians. So 
or 86% Christians. And then there are 86. And then may mga other worldviews and other religions. So, karamihan sa atin, we believe in Christ and we believe in in uh, God the Father and the Holy Spirit. So, hindi natin ididibate yon sa kapwa natin, Kristiyano, na naniwala ng ganun. But, we will encounter people who probably do not believe the same uh, belief beliefs that we have. And even your children, for example, some of them will question their faith one day. And I pray that we will be equipped to answer the questions of, of our children in the future and not say na, ah, the, yung mga bagay na ganyan, dapat alam mo na yan. O ay, naku, huwag mo lang tatanong sa ganyan. Basta sinabi ng Biblia, okay na yan. One of the reasons why young people today do not follow the the faith and the beliefs of their children, of their parents is because when they ask questions, like legitimate questions, hindi nasasagot yung tanong nila. And dahil hindi sinagot ng maayos yung tanong nila, they go to other people, they go online, they are being ministered by the world today, and yun ang nagpo-form ng worldview nila. If they decide that they don't want to believe in God, they will not believe in God. So that's heartbreaking to know sometimes, for example, when a parent walk with, uh, with God and are on fire for God, yet their children do not believe in God because they feel like, I um, may mga tanong yung anak ko pero hindi ko na kayong sagutin, bahala na si Lord sa anak ko. So, one of the things that I've learned na talagang tumatak sa akin is um, when we meet people who are curious about our faith or who are not in the faith, the same faith that we have, let us have the humility to try to listen to them and understand where they're coming from. What ang ayo nating mangyari ay we ask a little bit of question and then huminga lang, idinikdik mo na lahat ng verses na memorize mo at sinabi mo na I shared the gospel to this person. If there is no real conversation at walang understanding na nangyayari, kahit ilang verses ang i-recite mo sa kaibigan mo, sa pamilya mo, hindi maiintindihan ng tao yung sinasabi natin. Ang ma ma matatatak sa isip nila ay, these Christians are judgmental, and these Christians are so prideful that they don't even listen to me, they just say whatever they want to say because that's their belief. I hope that we will have that kind of heart to uh, try to understand and in humility listen to people. And I, I know uh, some several apologists have said that the best apologetic defense of the faith is love. Yes, and the way you live your life. Yeah. So I discovered that in this island as we, um, you know, one thing that God has been teaching me here in the island as we, as we started the house church is, is, um, is love. Mm. That's the best way to share God's Word in the gospel. And, you know, akala ko lahat tao dito or, you know, after your time or nights, but there are a lot of fugitives here who are escaping from something. And and then, you know, you you befriend them, and, but they're, they're a very colorful class, but there are people who are looking for love. They're looking for a church where people actually care for them and love them. So, and, and when you do that, sometimes, uh, that's when they're ready to hear. But if you start with just defending the faith and Bible verse after Bible verse, and it's going to fall on that years to so, okay. Yeah, sabi nga din ng mentor ko, di ba? Uh, people wouldn't care if all you show is that you, uh, people don't care if how much how you know, much you know yeah. until they know yeah, how, how much, much you care. care. That's true. Thank love you. is the answer. I know that. Parang may kantang ganon, di ba? Love is the answer. I was asked this question in one of the trainings in a pageant. What's your favorite song? And then I said, um, ano nga ba yung title ng kanta ngayon? No, no, they, they said, no, they, um, uh, What's the song? Who am I? The I am. What's that song? Casting Crowns. What's that? What's Who the... am I is the title. So, okay, so I was asked, what's your favorite song? I said, Who am I? And then, can you give us a line? Or can, 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 you, can, can you give us a sample? And then I was like, Who am I? 
Pero magandang magandang kanta yon kasi oh, nag-impact yes. din sa akin yung kanta. And if I remember it right, I'll say, oh, no. <laughs> Gino nga, who am I? <laughs> 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 Pero okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Video queen din siya. Wow! Wala ko siya ng first place sa Eat Bulaga. Uh, Video kay Queen Challenge. Natalo ko si Pia Words back. Teka, hanap kita yung lyrics. Who am I that the Lord of all the earth would care to know my name and care to know my hurt? Diba? Who am I ang pinaka-favorite ano ko doon, favorite uh, line. line ko, ito, Who Am I? Song by Casting Crowns. Ayan, naghanap po ng lyrics. <laughs> Hanap po ng lyrics. Hindi <laughs> kasi ang ganda. Ito, Not because of who I am. Sorry, may sipon ako ah. Not because of who I am, but because of what you've done. Not because of who, what I've done. But because of who you are, di nakabahan ako. I am a flower quickly fading, gone today and gone tomorrow. A wave tossed in the ocean, a vapor in the wind. Still you hear me when I'm calling, and you catch me when I'm falling. Have you told me who I am? Catch me when I'm falling. Naalala niyo ako okay, yung nadapa. Ayan. Siya yung nag-catch me. Ayan. Kaya ang title ng libro ko, He Can Catch You When You Fall. Ang ganda ng mga. At kaya din gawin ni Lord yun sa inyo. Yes. Oh, next question. May question pa ba? I have a question. Garrett, go ahead. Because I want to support that question, um, whatever you said, that you found God, you found anyone, um, how you were in this journey. How will someone start? Where will someone start to look for God? To look on what you have found? Oh, that's such a good question. Such a good question. Ha. Huh. And, um, sige, I'll, I'll say this. Sabihin ko na lang. Um, I guess a humble heart is always a good place to start. So, have that humility to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I have sinned. I have sinned. I, I need your help. I need forgiveness. You can, it can be a form of prayer and just say, Lord, kilala mo ako eh. Alam mo, alam mo kung nasa na ako ngayon. And you know the things that I have done in the past. Will you forgive me? And I guess the Lord knows us. He knows if a prayer is a genuine prayer, if the desire of our heart is a genuine desire. And, and he says that, that he will grant the desires of our hearts. If we desire to know him, he will do something for us to start that journey with him. But it begins with a humble heart. Repentance, I guess. Perfect. Nice. Anyone else? Yes, Chester. <laughs> oh, we want to also acknowledge Chester and Rona for hosting this play. Yay. Please come back and also please pay your pay your bill. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, it is. Hi, I'm Chester. Hi, Chester. So, other than playing kind of poems, I'm an aspiring high school teacher. Oh, wow. Um, 
an aspiring public school high school. Public high school. Is there an event for that in this year? Pero college um, the professor, yeah. Next year, I'll, I'm trying to teach wow. in the public school system. Wow. And then everyone's saying that they don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, that, that's actually my question. Like, uh, well, first of all, thank you for being here. Um, uh, I have so many questions because your life is like, so interesting. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to focus on that part of your life. Um, you were ranting of so many statistics earlier. Mm. Um, and just overcoming all of those without having a budget figure. And then being in the Filipino public school system. Yeah. That seems like really impossible to us. So I, I really want to hear more about that yeah. part of your life. Yeah. Being in the public school and in that part of yeah. High school, public yeah. school, yeah. How? And then you're like this. So, uh, he's saying, <laughs> despite being in the how? Public, how? <laughs> how? No, Chester. First of all, thank you that you have that kind of desire to uh, help in the public school system, uh, despite of you being already very successful in your life. I guess maybe I don't know where that desire is coming from, but I guess you are in the the right trajectory. Um, I, I honestly would really suggest you try it and see for yourself what's happening there. Um, when uh, hindi na ako masyadong uh, familiar sa kung ilang isudyante meron sa isang classroom ngayon. But when I was uh, still a student, um, 50, 55 students in one classroom. Electric fan, uh, walang siyempre, walang aircon yan, walang sound system. Uh, nagsasalita ang teacher, maingay ang klase. Um, ang, ang mga isudyante, syempre hati yan. May mga isudyante na talagang gustong makapag-aral, gustong matuto. May mga isudyante na pupunta lang para lang makapag-aral. Pero hindi ganun kaseryoso sa ginagawa nila sa pag-aral. But I guess, uh, if I remember it correctly, it was in my high school years when I'd say na parang formative years sa akin. Alam ko ang formative years nangyayari early on. Pero um, during my, my time, Jan Yung, I started dreaming for the future. I started yeah, joining pageantry, like legit pageantry. Um, I, have prof I have teachers na talagang really made an impact in my life. Um, I had this English teacher na wala pa naman akong kaalam-alam nun tungkol sa... Um, public speaking and all that, but this one uh, um, high school English teacher uh, told me na, you know, you have a potential, why don't we compete for oratorical contests wow. <laughs> in different uh, you, high schools and different district and then division. So, ang ginagawa ng teacher ko, nagsusulat siya ng uh, oratorical pieces, and then I would memorize it, and then we would go to different schools and then magko-compete kami. So parang in a way, naging training ko pala yun. Uh, hindi ko naman alam na magiging ganito yung buhay ko ngayon, pero naging training ko siya in public speaking. Alam ko, um, may flaws pa rin ang, ang English ko at hindi pa rin ako ganun ka-confident to speak about, you know, a lot of things. Pero malaking bagay yung may taong naniniwana sa'yo at sabihin na, I see that you have potential, let's do something about it. And yeah, um, high school, dun din nag-start na parang, of course, I long to be in a relationship and all that. So marami yan ngayon. Maraming high school students ang nabubuntis pag hindi nag-guide ng maayos. High school students pa lang, uh, you know, are into drugs and all that, especially in the public school. Pero um, I hope that the desire of your heart um, would be granted by the Lord. And kahit isang isudyante lang ang ma-impact mo sa isang public school, at pag graduate yan, nagkaroon ng magandang buhay. The same question that you're asking me right now, you came from a public school, what happened, look at you now, is the same probably statement that my teachers in high school and, and elementary are saying, that's my student. That student of mine, tinuruan ko yan, naging maayos ang buhay, parte ako ng success ng estudyante ko na yan. And I pray that you will also be in that position. Go Chester, go Chester. Go Chester! Magnat alone ka na lang. Yes, volunteer! Can I ask a follow-up question while we're waiting for the next one? 
talk about high school and your love for English. Pero no pageant, I read an interview or, or saw one where you were like, I don't know, I'm not sure if you're going to say it. I'm not sure if you're going to say it. And it, it, I read that it bothered you for a while. But then you know what? You turned that major, major mistake into something good. How do you, so maybe people here have come to failures or mistakes. Yeah. How do you turn that into something good? Yeah, um, just, to, just to give you an idea how devastated I was. Because sinisisi ko pa noon na parang kasi hindi ako pinag-aral sa private ng nanay ko. Sana ako pinag-aral sa private, maganda ang English ko. Pero, <laughs> um, dahil syempre wala kaming resources. So, dyan, kung nasan kami, doon lang kami. And during that time, yeah, the question was, uh, what was the biggest mistake that you have done in your life and what did you do to make it right? Get me? I'll give you zero minute, you answer me in 30 seconds. So, alam mo yun, parang, huh? Huh? Ano daw? Ang sasabihin ko. Ganon. Um, and then I said something like, you know, in my 22 years of existence, I, eh, pag tinatanong ka, nakakalimutan mo yung tanong. So tinitingnan ko yung papel. Hindi ko makita kung ano nga ba yung tanong ulit. <laughs> and then I said something like, um, in my 22 years of existence, I say that I have no major, major um, problem <laughs> that I have committed in my life, la la la. And so it was like a long one, but then um, it was difficult because parang I think in Tagalog, at ang gusto kong sabihin sa Tagalog ay ganito. Ang gusto kong sabihin ay um, pinalaki ako ng maayos na magulang ko. So, hindi, kumbaga parang, yeah, I'm 22, pero wala pa akong major um, mistake. Na maybe they're thinking of like, nag-drugs ka ba, or, or nabuntis ka ba, or whatever, right? So parang in my mind, at that time, iniisip ko, hindi, guided kasi ako ng pamilya ko, ng magulang ko. So I don't know how to translate that in, in such a way that they will grasp it. And of course, culturally, it's also different. In, in, in the Western world, when you're 18, you leave your family and you're prone to making major mistakes in life. But I mean, again, that's gonna be part of your journey and that's, that's also probably okay. But then here in, in, in the Philippines and in, in the Eastern world in general, hindi tayo umaalis sa magulang natin ng 18. May asawa na nga, nandiyan pa tayo sa magulang natin. So parang nag-guide tayo ng maayos. But I guess um, I was not able to explain that properly. But you know what happened? After that, pag umuwi ako ng Pilipinas, tinatawa ko ng mga tao ng major-major. Inis na inis talaga ako. Ano ba naman to? I'm grateful. I become not a fourth runner-up and you're calling me major-major. But um, I had a commercial for Pizza Hut, major, major cheese. <laughs> and then, even like other companies are using it. They're like, I think I saw, and I'm not sure if it's Petron or Shell, that they're like, major, major sale. So I was like, wow. So today, I have a podcast. It's called The Major, Major, major Podcast. Wow. You can listen to that. <laughs> Spotify, on Apple Podcast, and on YouTube, you can check that. Young people would send letters. Meron silang Dear Ate V. Ito yung problema ko. One, two, three, four, five. And then, um, I always say that I'm not here to solve their problem, but I'm just here to listen and to think things through with them. So, I give a little bit of, you know, my thoughts about their situation. So, it's called The Major, Major Podcast. Siguro, isa sa mga bagay na natutunan ko doon ay kahit na yung sa tingin kong isang bagay na nakakahiya or isang bagay na hindi magandang nangyari sa buhay ko, the Lord can turn that around Amen. and use that for His glory Amen. and for your good. Yes. So, talagang ganun, mabuti ang Panginoon. <laughs> mm. Major, major talagang Panginoon. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay, so ano na, mag-aalas 8 na mga okay. friends. <laughs> That's what you're Pero about. isa, 7.45 na. Oh, Pero merong Last question na lang tayo. Yun. And that lady in blue. Hindi makakatulog. Hindi makakatulog. Ayan, si ma'am. Ma'am, I have to realize me na nandito po ako ngayon. So, thank you na may paraan talaga yung Panginoon. Ma'am, Miss B, 
Denas, que question to poem. Ano yung message mo sa mga young people na nanghihina sa mga Christian dito ngayon na before on fire sila sa Panginoon, pero ngayon nanghihina sila. Pero sa ngayon, nakikita ko po na nandiyan po sa inyo yung Holy Spirit, kung ano yung message mo po sa amin. Nanghihina na iba, pero ano yung pinakasikret ko na po na still on fire pa rin kayo? Mom, what's your name again po? I am Michelle. Michelle? Yes. Yeah, thank you for asking this question. Alam mo, Ma'am Michelle, ang ganda ng tanong mo. Kasi, um, bagaman siguro uh, nakikita mo na, you know, I'm, I'm on fire or I'm, you know, I'm still doing these things that I'm doing and I'm serving the Lord. Uh, talagang grasya na lang huwi ng Panginoon. Because I really believe that in our journey, in our journey, may highs and lows naman talaga. May highs and lows talaga. May mga moments na, ang sarap, sarap ng pakiramdam mo, ang, ang init-init mo para sa Panginoon. Pero may mga moments na, ano, parang, parang ayoko magbasa ng Biblia ngayon, Lord. Ayoko mag-pray ngayon. May mga moments na ganon. At alam din ng Panginoon yun. Hindi naman ina-expect ng Panginoon na sa lahat, mula pagkakilala mo sa Kanya hanggang dulo na mamatay ka, dapat pantay-pantay yan, lagi kang mainit sa Kanya. Sa mga araw na nandun ako sa baba, yun yung mga araw na marami akong natututunan sa Panginoon. Yun yung mga araw na sobra akong kumakapit sa Kanya. Yun yung mga araw na, Lord, minsan, hindi naman sa gusto kong mangyari sa akin yung mga nangyayaring problema sa ibang tao, pero pag may nakikita akong namang problema, tapos lumalapit sa Panginoon, sabi ko, Lord, ang sarap ng buhay niya. Ang sarap ng buhay niya. Kasi, nire-remind mo siya na may Panginoon siyang kakapitan at tatakbuhan sa mga oras na nangangailangan siya. So, I guess I guess in our journey, um, highs and lows are part of it. Siguro ang masasabi ko lang ay huwag nating hayaan na tumambay tayo dun sa lows ng buhay natin. Huwag tayong tumambay dun. Pag may mga araw na alam mo na parang, parang tumatagal na to, ah, parang hindi na ako nakakapagdasal ng ilang araw na. Parang hindi na ako lumalapit sa Panginoon ng ilang araw na. Huwag mong hayaang tumagal yun. Kasi pag tumagal ka doon, baka masanay ka na malayo ka sa tatay mo. So balik ka ulit. Pero hindi kailangan na sa lahat ng, ng taon ng buhay mo ay palagi kang nasa taas. Oo, siguro nakikita nyo kami na, oy grabe yung buhay nila. Nagsuserve pa rin sa Panginoon. Ganito pa rin ang ginagawa. Pero hindi natin alam kung ano yung yung struggles na pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa. Anong struggles na pinagdadaanan nila bilang mag-asawa, bilang nagpapamilya? Ako, mga kasalanan ginagawa ko na hindi nyo nakikita. Pero alam ng Panginoon ang lahat. At lahat yan, iniluluhod ko sa Panginoon at iniiyak ko sa Kanya. Ang hope ko lang ay, ang sabi niya sa Biblia, He who started the good works in you will perfect it until the time of Christ Jesus. So kung sinimulan ng Panginoon ang trabaho niya sa buhay natin, tatapusin niya yan. Pero hindi tayo makakarating sa dulo ng madumi pa rin. Kaya nililinis niya tayo hanggang nandito pa tayo sa buhay na to. Dahil pag umabot tayo sa dulo at patay na tayo, yun na yung wow, glorious moment na makikita mo ang Panginoon ng harapan. Pero ang kasalanan, hindi pwedeng maghalo at ang Panginoon natin. So hanggat nandito tayo sa mundong to, Magkakaroon at magkakaroon tayo ng challenges and trials sa buhay natin para linisin tayo unti-unti. Hanggang matuto tayo at makita natin na, Lord, kahit pala yung mga lows, low moments ng buhay ko, ginamit mo pa rin pala yun para sa mga araw na papapurihan kita at gagamitin ko ang pangalan mo para makilala ka rin ng ibang tao. So, yan lang ma'am. Maraming salamat po. Siguro, balikan ko lang dalawang my practical things that you can do if you already feel like, hala, nangihina na ako sa Panginoon. If you need to drag yourself, drag yourself to read His Word. If you need to drag yourself to pray, drag yourself to pray. It's always motion before emotion. Kasi kung iisipin mo na emotion, I don't feel like reading the Bible, hindi ho mangyayari yun. Hindi magbubukas ang Biblia sa harapan mo at magbabasa ng sarili niya. Ang gagawin mo, talagang sisikapin mo na pumunta doon, basahin ang salita, magdasal, 
Kung mausap ng mga tao, i-share mo yung nararamdaman mo sa isang tao na pinagkakatiwalaan mo. Pray for other people. Pray with other people para maibalik ka dun sa punto na, okay, sige Lord, simula na ulit tayo. It's never emotions. It will always be your emotion first and then emotions will follow. Thank, Thank you, you for that. Thank you for that, Venus. And for those of you who would like to drag yourself <laughs> to get to know God more, um, you are welcome to drag yourself in CCF Boracay. Mm. Every Sunday po, meron kaming worship, 10.30 a.m. Hindi kami mga perfectong tao. Yeah. No. Pantay-pantay po tayo. Pero iisa lang po ang namumuno doon na perfecto. Yung po ay si Jesus. At we will there will be there to pray with you, to journey with you. Sama-sama po tayo doon na magfe-fellowship. Meron kaming libreng pagkain. You're Yon welcome. Ito nang ano eh. Pagkain. Lahat ka pumunta. You are welcome to join us and we will pray for you. Nasa at ang prayer po namin sana, makahanap kayo ng tahanan sa CCF Boracay. So, Pamilya. Pinjalo at Pamilya. Yan. Sa Pinjalo Resort po yan, every Sunday, 10.30 a.m. Sa Magsalo-salo po tayo na kumain ng salita ng Diyos at kumain ng totoong pagkain para mabusog naman tayo. Yes. Yan. Magpe-pray po namin kayo doon. You are very, very much welcome. So, uh, with that, Thank you so much, you, Venus, Pastor. once again, for giving us, sharing with us your time, your wisdom, your story. And we are really all so blessed and so inspired and fired up, di ba? Para sa Panginoon. Yun. So... Yeah, Venus, can you close us in prayer? Yes. Sige po, okay lang po ba kung tumayo tayo lahat? Kanina pa po tayo nakaupo, tayo po tayo. <laughs> Sige po um, Okay lang ho kung gusto nyo ipikit ang mga mata ninyo Ipikit nyo ho yung mga mata ninyo And as your eyes are closed um, I want you to think of our Heavenly Father I want you to think that you're in front of our Heavenly Father Anong mararamdaman mo kung nasa harapan ka mismo ng tatay natin? Anong sasabihin mo kung nasa harapan ka mismo ng tatay natin? Our loving Heavenly Father, once again, thank you so much, Lord, that you are so good, so good. Thank you, Lord, for hugging us in moments that we need a hug. Thank you, Lord, for just allowing us, Lord, to bask in your presence, in your love, in your goodness, in your faithfulness. Lord, kung wala ka, wala kami. At sa mga araw na pakiramdam namin, Lord, malayo ka, remind us, Lord, that we're not far away from you. Remind us that you are present. Remind us, Lord, that we are just beside you. Lord, I pray for all those people who are here. You know them personally. You know their life story. You know their trials and challenges. Lord, I pray that you please be the one to comfort them. Be the one to bless them. Sa mga nangangailangan ng provision, Panginoon, will you please be the one to provide for their needs? Sa mga nangangailangan ng comfort, Panginoon, please be the one to comfort them. To those who are hurting and are in pain, Lord, please be the one, Lord, to heal their pains and their hurts. Sa mga may sakit at may karamdaman, Panginoon, please be the one to heal them physically, but more than physically, heal them spiritually, Father. Lord, we thank you for this place. Thank you for the owners. Please bless them, Lord. Bless the desires of their hearts. We know na kayo ang magpapalit sa kung ano man ang Panginoon na inoffer nila sa inyo. You will replace that more than the things that they have offered to you. You will multiply that more than the things that they have offered to you. Father, as we go home, as we fellowship, may the joy of your presence be continuously in our hearts tonight. 
May we continue, Lord, to honor you in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions, and the people in our homes would see that there's something different within us tonight. Father, thank you for everything. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Millennial selfie. Sure. I know. I'll show you guys want a picture with Venus. Yes. We have one picture here. Yes. Venus will do her famous Gen Z shot. But I'll, I'll also, uh, so if you, people would want to have. Yeah, okay. After 2011. I mean, group shot. We'll do a group shot. She'll see it here. And then we'll post it on the CCF Boracay House Fellowship. Facebook page. So just search CCF Boracay House Fellowship Facebook page. Okay? Wow. Dito na lang. Dito na lang para Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, check mo nga, ma'am. Ma'am, check mo nga, ma'am. Gusto mo ito. Ito, ito mas kita ko. Sige. Gusto mo ito. Sige. Gusto mo ito. Ito, dito, pinatay mo ito. Okay. Pinatay mo mo na ito. Tapos isa pang check. Okay. Hold it. Okay, it's the right hand. It's the one up here. Let me show you the one. Okay. Kung gusto mo, pwede naman ganyan. Diba? May ganyan. Ganyan naman na lang. Okay. Okay. Pero okay lang kung mabuti. Yeah, okay. Ayan, kitang-kita yan. As in 100%. And if you're surprised, you ordered coffee. It's because someone told me, I'm gonna take care of the first 50 coffee orders. Wow! Eh, pang 51 ako. Pasa kami. Okay, guys. Okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. One more. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is Papa. This is for me, my mom, sir. Timer. No, this is for me. Okay. Long oh, about a selfie stick, Venus. <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, yes, perfect. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Yay. 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 Okay. Paano ba to? Line by line ba magpapapit? Oo, oh, oh, per table. Ganito. Yeah. Yung parang kasal. Pila-pila yeah. lang po tayo. Ha? Table. table one. Table two. Table two. Okay. Oh, yung picture simula dito muna yes. sa linya, sa harapan. Okay, yung mga nandito muna sa harapan. You can airdrop yourself, ma'am, but don't airdrop my boyfriend. Kami na magpapapicture. Joke lang. Kami na 